Hey, so fam, I'm back with another one. It's your girl, I know goddess. How is everyone? All right, let's get a message from your spiritual team. Let's get a message from your spiritual team. All right, seven. Uh, they want you to know that justice is about to be served. Everything is about to be restored in your life. Balance is about to be restored, okay? Be patient, okay? Be patient. If you got a court case going on, my collective, um, there's no need to worry about that court case. Uh, the truth will come out. The truth will be prevailed, okay? Because the judge that you're going to have, um, this judge is going to be appointed by the Most High God. I know who you see in court is a physical being, but that person has been appointed by the Most High God for this case. Um, but they also want you to know that you are on the right path. Continue to do what you do. Do continue to manifest because they're with you. All right. They want you to know that you're on the right path and that whatever foundation, whatever it is you're creating, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're working hard at, it will be accomplished with a little bit of patience and continuing. Don't worry about what other people got to say or think. Okay. Be that free spirit. Get yourself online as well. Okay. Push it. Okay. Push it because your spiritual team is letting you know things will work out in your favor. Just be patient with yourself. Okay. Continue to do the work. Justice will be prevailed for you if you got a court situation going on, okay? All right. I just want to do something different tonight. I don't feel like laying out cards. I'm just going by what my spirit says, okay? If you guys are seeking a personal reading, you can hit me up at unknowngoddess24 at gmail. Or you could, you know, highlight that. Um, I try to get it highlighted in blue. Calendy link. That's in my TikTok, but I can't get it to highlight. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to have to call my techie boy. He's really good. I'm going to have him do that. Okay. Two, there's a relationship here that you let go of. You let go a lot of karmic soulmates. You did the right thing. Okay. You did the right thing. Because these people were never going to be loyal to you. They weren't going to bring any type of balance to you. These weren't the right people for you to partner up with. Okay. So your spirit team wants you to know letting go of these karmic soulmates was the best thing for you to do, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. And that could be with anybody. That could be with friends, family, uh, lovers, whoever it is, business partners, whoever it was. You let go of these people because these people are untrustworthy. You did the right thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Seven. Okay. We got another seven here. Seven of Pentacles energy is what I take this as, but this is also a spiritual number. Seven is a highly spiritual number, okay? Spirit says that they need you to take time to do some reflecting, reassessing, meditation, okay? Sit down so you can hear your thoughts, speak to you so Spirit can give you the downloads that you need. All right, get into your meditation here. All right, I know you guys are working on some long-term investments, all right, you're looking for long-term stability, um, you know, overall. Um, the Spirit says you are going to get there. But they need you to let go and let God sometimes. Sometimes you get in your own way. All right, my collective, you do get in your own way, but your spirit guides are all around you. You are protected. Continue to persevere because you've been persevering for so long. Uh, but sometimes you got to get into meditation so your spirit team can speak to you, okay? They need to talk to you. They got a message for you, okay? Yeah. You're going to get messages of good news as well when it comes to that court case once again, okay? Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> There's a situation here that you already stood your ground on. Don't go back. Okay, my collective. You already put that shit to rest. Okay? You're too busy focusing on a structured foundation here. Don't go back. Do not go back to this person. Stand your ground, okay? Whatever this situation may be for you, my collective, all right? Yeah, stand your ground. You work too hard, all right? And you already learned your lesson through this, okay? If you feel like you're, if you find yourself contemplating on a situation or a person, all right, let it go. You already learned your lesson from that situation, all right? Like I said, Spirit says, stand your ground. Stand in your authority. Don't go back because somebody's reflecting on the past here. All right. Your intuition is already telling you what it is. And you know, if you go back, it's going to be all drama. Don't go back. Okay. This four is representing for me fourth house cancer energy. Do not ignore your intuition. You feel me? Don't, don't do it. You will regret it. Your intuition, your spirit guys is trying to communicate with you. 
All right. If you feel lonely, if you feel bored again with that number four, you feel bored and you're reflecting on the past because you're lonely. Don't your spirit team is letting you know they're here with you. OK, follow. Listen to your intuition. Don't do that. OK, yeah. You already freed yourself from that situation. You already learned your lesson in that situation. It's time for growth. It's time for change. All right. Find something to do that will bring forth your own wish fulfillment. All right. You are sitting content. Continue to try to find peace and contentment within yourself. You've grown so much and freed yourself from that situation. You go back, you will regret. This is going to put you in a state. If you go back to the situation or this person, it's going to put you in a state where you're going to feel lack again. You're going to feel in, insufficient. Um, you're going to feel um, insecure. All right. You're going to lose your power and your strength again. And you're going to let you're going to lose your peace of mind. OK, my collective. If you go back to the situation, it's going to bring forth a lot of clouded judgment and a lot of confusion. Don't do it. That's what your spirit of God is saying to you. You already made that change. OK, let it go. All right. It's it, you focus, continue to focus on your growth. Okay. Go after your wish fulfillment. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anything else for the collective spirit? Anything else for the spirit guides? What else is going on here, spirit? Anything else for the collective? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, this too is the high priestess energy, okay, <clears throat> this could be, I could be talking to a Pisces here, okay, um, you're very knowledgeable when it comes to your highly, you're highly intuitive is what I should say, okay, um, listen to your higher self, listen to your consciousness, okay, if you're about to travel, make sure that whatever is in your travel plans, check your itinerary, um, check your flight, whatever it is, make sure you check your vehicle. Some of y'all might be going on a trip. If you feel like you don't want to go on this trip, delay, um, postpone it because you don't want to run any, into any type of conflict. Your intuition is telling you to do so. Please listen to yourself. All right. Please double check your messages as well. Okay. Make sure you check your messages. Make sure you assess over the situation. Uh, make sure you do some ref uh, assessing. Make sure you have the right knowledge before going forward. Gain all the knowledge that you need, okay? Um, for some of y'all here, your spirit guides is letting you know there that whatever it is that you're studying when it comes to your practice, like your sp spiritual practice here, my collective, go ahead and tap into that higher learning because the seven also represents being a teacher, gaining knowledge, doing some reflecting, assessing. This five can also represent the hierophant energy, okay, where you're learning, um, step, step, stepping out of your traditional beliefs and going into your spiritual beliefs. So go ahead, continue to do so, continue to do your research. To continue to gain uh, research the knowledge, the information that you need, and go about and doing so. But it's also to do with your travel plans, okay? Also to do with your travel plans. You don't want any conflict, okay? You don't want to. You don't want to um, any conflict there. Oh, okay. There we go again. Highly spiritual number again. Number seven came right back out. Spirit is telling you to do some assessment, gain all the knowledge you need. This is also about self reflecting, doing some reflection. Learning from the situation, all right. Taking yourself to higher, higher, higher knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Okay, um, I feel as if you guys as well coming back down to being patient with yourself. Okay, coming back down to being patient with yourself. You have to learn patience if some of y'all ain't learning it. You got to be patient, my collective. You don't want to get yourself caught up in in the same cycle. You don't want to get caught up into the conflict. So Spirit is saying to you, please listen to your higher guidance. Because this is like the crown chakra. The crown chakra is where you are not listening to the outside world. You're tapping into your higher consciousness, okay? You're tapping into your higher consciousness and listening to that higher self, all right? This is all about spiritual enlightenment, all right? It's also tapping into your higher consciousness and being patient with yourself, listening to the downloads. Because I feel like a lot of y'all are getting downloads from your angels, your ancestors. But go into meditation, all right? Tap into meditation and listen to the messages that you are getting, 
Um, I feel like some of y'all are finding peace with meditation. If you're trying to relax yourself, free yourself from any negative thoughts, tap into meditation and get quiet. Just be still for a moment, okay? And bring forth balance. Learn to balance your life. Because being on the spiritual side and being on the 3D,